Good day, wizards, and welcome to today's lesson. Indigenous inhabitants of the Cape in the 17th century. At the end of this lesson, wizards will know sand hunters, koi koi herders, Dutch settlement, and slaves at the Cape. Beginning with sand hunter gatherers. Hunter gatherers were the first people to live at the Cape. They got their food by hunting wild animals and gathering plant foods like fruit, nuts, berries and roots from the environment. Hunter-gatherers lived in small groups. They were nomads and did not settle in one place. They moved around to find different plant foods at different times of the year. For many thousands of years, they lived all over southern Africa. We know this because of the sand rock paintings and engravings that are found all over southern Africa. When the Dutch colonized the Cape in the 17th century, there were sand hunter gatherers living at the Cape and in the rest of southern Africa. Now let's continue to look at the Khoi Khoi herders' visits. Herders keep animals that are useful to them. Cattle were used for their meat and hide, and cows were used for their milk. About 2,000 years ago, Khoi Khoi herders began moving to the southwestern parts of southern Africa. They had herds of hairy, fat-tailed sheep. The Khoi Khoi settled in the winter rainfall areas of the Cape, where there was good grazing for the sheep. By the 17th century, they also kept cattle, goats, and sometimes dogs. The Khoi Khoi groups were larger than the sand groups and they moved around to find the best grazing for their livestock. They lived in reed houses that they could take with them when they moved to another place. Where African farmers were settled. Wizards about 2,000 years ago, Kosa-speaking African farmers started settling in the eastern parts of southern Africa. These farmers grew crops such as sorghum and millet that needed summer rainfall. They settled to the east of the Cape in areas that received around 500 mm of rain over the summer growing season. These farmers also kept sheep, goats and cattle. By 400 AD, African farmers had spread through most of the eastern parts of southern Africa and as far as the Fish River. By the 17th century, closer speaking African farmers were using graving areas as far south as the Sundays River. Now, wizards, once farmers arrived in the eastern parts of southern Africa, they stayed in one place for a few years. They chose a place near the river for water. They cleared the land where the soil was good. They prepared the soil and planted crops. At first, farmers did not settle on the high field because it was too cold for their crops. Neither did they settle too far west near the Kalahari Desert, as it was too dry. The Dragonsberg was too cold and hilly for growing crops. Looking at Dutch settlements, during the 1500s, other European countries began to trade in the east in India and southeast Asia. European traders wanted things like pepper and spices to sell in Europe. 